my friends, Natasha with Natasha's Scrabble Corner and today I'm coming to you with the finished project Tilda Inspired, I know I'm on the roll and uh, I really really love this color pattern so I decided to um, sew a little purse for a, a clutch for um, a friend of mine and uh, actually I needed like a storage for my pocket letter which I will show you and um, basically I chose the pattern out of the Tilda magazines one of the easiest one to sew and uh, here it is so uh, for the main um, for the main fabric I chose this uh, polka dot uh, with the rosettes um, and I hope uh, I hope she likes it and I hope she can take this purse out not just for you know uh, take it to town and um, I uh, gathered the another uh, fabric the polka dot um, fabric and this is from the NSK kit and of course it's you know has the inside and I put the loop out of the ribbon and I put the little button in here and that's how it looks inside oh no it's like too dark right so that's a little clutch and um, I guess I'll show you what goes inside of this clutch. Just a second. All right. So um, I created um, um, pocket letters for Irina, and uh, she um, she um, have been MIA from pocket letter mania. <laughs> Um, so, um, I decided to, um, uh, send her one, and, uh, I used the, um, Tilda paper for that, and some of, you know, stuff. So, um, for the uh, trim here, Chunky Charm on the side, I used the, um, seam binding, uh, scraps of tool, um, yarn and um, some uh, scraps of the fabrics and stuff and scraps of the um, trams so paralyzed trim and I made her a little house and I put jingle bells in there so they jingling so it's going to be like kind of like Christmassy, right? So, and um, on top I put that um, pearlized um, heart trim. And in here I absolutely adore this um, ship. So those are the fuzzy cuts from the collection. And uh, first um, second two rows um, it's actually that large um, sewing uh, tilde and it goes on the third row I know the clear and I put one of the artists bling in there and in here because all our projects are supposed to have the um, wings so I included the wing in there and this is from NSK and there is a tag and you know some stuff about me and what's not and the spools um, and I put some trims and laces that I was using through the uh, the um, whole projects and the wooden buttons and the heart uh, stick pin and etc and um, the third row uh, again it's all uh, the paper from their uh, paper collection 
and uh, this um, love word um, we uh, fuzzy cut it uh, I fuzzy cut it at Janet's house and uh, we were practicing you know cut out the words and etc in the houses and at this house actually um, and the bows she um, kindly uh, cut out for me because I didn't have that dye at that time for the house I do not have the bow dye um, uh, out of the wallpaper and I absolutely love that and that's what you see here that uh, that house it's out of the wallpaper so um, going back to our uh, pocket letter I put that uh, organza trim on the bottom and of course each pocket has little bits and pieces and on the back it looks like this so I did um, because I used that paper so I had that, that row left so I just I used decorative punch and put the uh, trim on top and I put some pearl um, adhesive pearls in there and some scraps from the paper collection in there and uh, next row I have the buttons my favorite teacups and it says handmade and this is the back side of the trim and um, just needed to move and the third the third one is um, she's cut out Tilda and I bend her legs so she can reuse the uh, Tilda actually in some of the filigrees for her to use and the flag be best wishes with the little kitten she's a, um, a cat lover so that's her pocket letter and it goes in that purse very nicely so it's just um, another way to present your pocket letter and it tucks really really nice so how adorable is that huh and um, because as I said um, she missed out on the pocket letter event I uh, I made for her uh, that's the last thing I made with the scraps of the fabrics that I had like quilts I actually created the crazy quilts from the scraps just layering and layering uh, these ones I had the long strips and I just layered them one on top of another and stitch them and then cover it with that uh, tool scrap that um, I used for the doll and for the stocking and here I had a little scrap of uh, tool here and I just stitch across each layer so those uh, for example or uh, just pieces of fabric I just stitched all around or I added some of that crochet laces I really like them I don't know why people not really they are not been so popular uh, this past season at an escape but those uh, trims uh, look really really nice and um, so here is the example of crazy quilt and on the back I had a little a leftover of the sequence trim in here um, and uh, some other trims so that's for her to play basically so yeah just and I'm sticking for her a little sticky note in here So folded it and there you go. 
just a little fun for you to try those pocket letters. I'm sure I misspelled letter. Ha! Huh? But I'm not gonna be worrying about that. So, and it uh, buttons. Supposed to button them. Let's see. Yes, it does. So really cute, right? I really like that project. That was fun. Although a little bit challenging, but I really, really, really like how it came out. Really, really good, um, good project. Alright, so uh, stay tuned uh, for another project that I'm going to be sharing with you. Bye!